Welcome to Head by 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Schematic for Developers, which is the new version of Schematic created exclusively for people who want to build child themes to sell commercially. Um, that means that this is the exact same template that I use to build the themes that I sell on headway101.com and on Headway Extend. So let's take a look under the hood and see what's going on. So first we've got the style.css file. And this file has pretty much all the CSS you need to change anything in Headway. If you can modify the design, it's in this file. Um, there's also some extra stylings, such as this optional header content area and the footer widget stylings that make everything line up properly. Oh, and the Twitter fix if you're using your retweet button so it doesn't cause that horizontal scroll. The functions.php file is significantly different than the one in the personal version. That's because when you, want to, when you build themes for commercial uh, distribution, you want to use a class. A PHP class is, I'm not going to lie, it's actually something new to me, but it makes it so that you don't have to give your functions all these wacky names and things get sort of easier to follow as you're developing. Um, in this case, you'd need to change the class from schematic, or from headway schematic, to whatever the name of your theme is. And then you would use public function, public static function, prior to making your functions. Um, it gets a lot clearer as you work with the theme, but basically you're going to put your functions, um, you're going to put your actions and your filters and your hooks and stuff up here in this init function. And then you're actually going to declare your functions below that. So you're not going to put the add action, add filter, etc. directly after your functions this time. Um, they're all going to go in that first initial init area. And it's, uh, I've tried to heavily comment and sort of point that out so you know what you're doing. Uh, there are also some functions built in that developers are going to find helpful such as the ability to remove the design editor and the structure CSS, which sort of resets Headway's CSS down to the bare bones so you can really get in there and customize everything to your liking. There's also the functions necessary to set using PHP the bottom block margins, which is the margin that occurs at the bottom of each block. Um, you can set a set, like a static column width and a static gutter width if you want to, or define a minimum and maximum value. Uh, and you are just going to want to use numbers. There's also adding Google fonts using the NQ, WPNQ style function. And of course, there's a demonstration on how to use uh, theme options, which is actually another file I'm going to show you right now. All right. In the panel options.php, this is where you're going to put your theme options. And let me show you how that's going to look. Let me log in first. All right. If you go to Headway, Visual Editor, Manage Mode. You can see here where it says schematic options. This is where your theme options are going to come into play. Um, there's a couple. You can create new tabs over here where it says create tabs. So you would add a comma and write your tab and then tab name. And then down here is where the tabs are opened and the inputs are assigned. So in this case, at the end of this, I would put a comma, do tab, and then array. And then I might put the theme options for tie up in here. And if I reload, that actually should show up. See? All right. There are a couple of theme options built in. One of them is the header content. This is content that goes in the header. So for instance, if someone wanted to put social media icons in the header, uh, that's built in so that they can just enter their text in there or their HTML. Uh, you can already enable or disable the usage of footer widgets. And there's the show or hide this top menu. 
So those are just some of the things that are built in. Another thing that's built in is actually a color switcher. So you can see that this went from the default to just having a blue background because that's the only thing I changed in there. Um, the color switcher can be messed with using this design theme colors array. So here I would add green, green, no comma when you get to the end of these parentheses. And then down here, also in the callback, this is what makes it instantly change. You would add green and then that uh, vertical bar. And if I reload, leave the page. And go down to design options, green is now available. And how it's set up is that over here in this colors folder, this is the structure of schematic. In the colors folder, you have folders for each color that you want to use. And blue has its own style sheet that changes the background to blue, and there's default that has nothing in it. So that's sort of how the color switcher works. OK. And as far as the toggling on and off of options goes, you set the option here, so here it says, like, the theme menu, it's a checkbox. And over here, uh, we've got the function toggle menu box that uses an if statement to show, to decide whether or not to show it. And you would add the uh, action up here under theme options. And I've commented that too. It's a little confusing, but I tried to add as much commentary as necessary. Um, and in order to just add some of these functions, like getting rid of the design stuff, you would just delete the forward slashes. And if I reload, you can see the structure sort of went away. And of course, to put it back, you can just add two forward slashes to comment that line out. So if you're looking to develop commercial themes, you're just going to want to dig around in those files to see what's happening. That's about all there is for the developer version of Schematic. Uh, it's really the same thing as the personal, except it's set up for developers specifically. So this is going to require some pretty good working knowledge of PHP. But be sure to check out Headway 101. Ah, sorry. Be sure to check out Headway101.com for more developer tutorials and enjoy Schematic developer's version. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.